Ahara, let's board that ship. Today we vlog a day 864. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I was gonna do the Chateau tour today, but I talked about it with both Richard and Natasha a little bit today and I wanna wait until it is like finished, finished. I don't wanna keep making like pseudo updates to the chateau, the layout, how I've it organized, whatever else. There's still some elements missing. I wanna finish the lighting. I need to finish figuring out how I wanna organize everything. So sorry to mislead you about that yesterday that I was gonna do it. I really thought I was gonna do it today, but I'm gonna wait. I did have both of them over though today. I had Richard over with Gustav, which was really nice. We worked on some math, spreadsheets, discussions, some high level stuff and some nitty gritty as well. It was really good. Love hanging out with Richard to begin with. It was nice to have him over for a minute. And then Natasha came over and we hung out for a bit. It was the first time she'd ever been over to my place as well. It's really fun. And we also read all the jokes from Patreon so we could do the giveaway. And we recorded it, of course. And I will leave you with that, with most of the jokes, not all the jokes. Some of them were a little bit inappropriate. Some of them weren't actually jokes. Uh, and then, and then you know, most of the rest made the cut here. So let's see which one she liked the best. Some good beauty vlogging there. Like a line and... it, it also goes like, whoa. <laughs> Just gotta find the right the right mute. You're gonna have to share the couch with me a little bit though. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm probably like really shiny as well. Sit on you in the middle here. <laughs> Where is, like Where is your book? Where, where did, you, did you leave it up there? I left it up there. <laughs> okay. okay. Come. So this is Natasha's signed copy of her book, Girls of Paper and Fire. And the New York Times bestselling author, <laughs> Natasha, is sitting with me right now. Basically, we, we, we planned to do a giveaway and then she left the country and then I'm leaving the country. Uh, so this is the one time we have to actually facilitate this giveaway. Hand that to you. Uh, the way that this works, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm ready to laugh. So I, I, I hope you do. The way that this is going to work is that um, I had my patrons all leave their favorite joke or a joke. I don't know how many of them are favorite jokes as a comment on Patreon. And whichever joke she finds the funniest uh, will win. What if I find none of them funny? That is, that is, that whichever is a rough. Whichever joke I've like grown the least. Yeah, whatever, whichever one causes you the least amount of pain. <laughs> To be fair, I laugh really easily, so I, I feel like this should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna cut this out. Gonna... We're, we're also gonna, there are a lot of them, so we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut this down to like, we're maybe the top good. five to six, yeah. The, 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 the biggest groaners and the biggest potential winners. And we'll see how this goes. This could take us a while <laughs> <laughs> to get through all of these. How do you like the room, by the way? I love the room. You guys, you have to see it. In fact, well, you don't have to see it. <laughs> Please don't see in person. <laughs> Just like a line of... <laughs> <laughs> it is so nice. I came in and I was like immediately went upstairs because I was drawn to the bed and then I was like well I could just read here all day and then I came down and I found a little reading spot here as well and oh it's so good. I told her she yeah. went, before she came over I told her she wasn't allowed to go up there because I'd never be able to get her back down so <laughs> thankfully, I came down, I came down. thankfully that proved to be I not true. I am definitely coming back though to yeah. have like naps and reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a roommate. What are we here's I'm going to read through these there's like 30 plus jokes in here. Oh wow okay. So I'm going to read these to you okay, and then like, we'll just see how you respond. Okay. <laughs> we don't even need to warm you up. You're ready to go. Okay. Um, why did the monkey fall out of the tree? I don't know. Why? He died. I had to. I had to there was a lot of additional instructions around that joke that I had to read as I went through. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Uh, Dixie added on. Why did the second monkey fall out of the tree? <laughs> why? He was tied to the first monkey. <laughs> why did the third monkey fall out of the tree? Oh, no. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh. That was a down, but no, that was okay. That we, Dixie's, Dixie's ahead right now. That's, a, that's, that's author-induced abuse, by the way, so it's, it only makes it more authentic when we get to that. Okay, what is Forrest Gump's password? What? One Forrest one. It's written like that. Oh my god. Okay, Jonah, you might have taken first place there. How do you make holy water? Oh, hell. You boil the hell out of it. Oh, uh, groaner. Okay. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back to you? No. A stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, now Jonah's still in the lead. You know what the problem with having sex with the Chinese is? You know I am half Chinese. I do, and that, yeah, and that's also why this is one of the ones that wasn't okay, going to make it in. Okay, number one, there are no problems. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I don't know if I understand this, maybe you will. 20 minutes later and you're horny again? I don't get it! 
I don't know why that's is that a that's more of a compliment like than a yeah more of a compliment than a joke. That one probably is gonna get cut. No, I had a really good response in there that you have That's to. fair. We can leave that in there. Yeah, I'm mean, just boop the rest of it. A duck walks into a bar. He waddles up to the bartender and says, "Got any grapes?" The bartender says, "Get out of here, duck. We don't serve your kind in here." The duck leaves. A few hours later, the duck comes back, waddles up to the bar and says, got any grapes? Bartender says, I told you to get out of here. If you come back, I'm going to staple your feet to the floor. The duck waddles out. This is a very aggressive bartender. A few hours later, the duck waddles back into the bar and the bartender yells, what? The duck says, you got any staples? The bartender says, no, why? The duck says, got any grapes? Uh... He called him on his, he called him on it. Okay, this next one's way too long. Uh, also kind of uh, super inappropriate, so we're not going to read that one. <laughs> what do toilet paper and the Starship Enterprise have in common? They both circle Uranus and wipe out Klingons. <laughs> it's pretty good, it's that's, pretty good. That's, 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 I feel like that's a second place right now. Well, I'll let you decide at the end though which one is your favorite, obviously. Not a joke per se, but I saw this on a sign last week. Our tires aren't made by Banksy. No. Okay. Yeah, uh, what do you get when you toss a hand grenade into a kitchen in France? What? Linoleum blown apart. Uh, that's... I I get it. That's but like, yeah, but it's very tenuous. I get it. It's very tenuous. <laughs> Why is Peter Pan always flying? Why? He never lands. Ooh. Never land? Oh, because never oh. lands. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a grown up. And then, uh, this, this joke never gets old. It has a nice hook. She, she commented, she left that as a second line. Who has a nice hook? That joke has a nice hook, because uh, Captain Hook. Uh, I have to say Hook is one of my favorite films. Ever. It's a great movie. Okay, two cats were having a swimming contest. The first cat was named one, two, three, and the second cat was named un, deux, trois. Uh, Which cat won? I've heard this. Isn't it the first one because something cat sank? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, because un, deux, trois, cat sank. Yeah. Classic French joke. Learned that that's, at school. That's a good, mm. that's it's good, good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. How far can you go into the forest? I don't know how far. Halfway after that, you're heading out of the forest. Yes. It's kind of more of like That's a more... teaser. Yeah. A camel, a rabbi, and Albert Einstein walk into a bar. The bartender says, what is this, some kind of joke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna, not a joke, so we're going to skip that one. A question, what did the nurse say when she found a rectal thermometer in her pocket? Some yeah. has my pen. <laughs> Why did you leave it in, though? That's the question. <laughs> Do you know the story about the giraffe? No. Forget it. It's too long. <laughs> this is good. I'm glad we're getting some grunts in. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Why did he? To get to the other slide. Oh, no. I should be selling these harder. I should be working harder at this. Okay, some aviation. This is, this is a long story that does not, is not a joke. But thank you for submitting it, nonetheless. Uh, this is Dixie's real joke, apparently. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's a little heavy, the other's a little lighter. That's cute. Aww. That's... That got cuteness points. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a nice... It has a lot of lights. It's a, it's a nice, it's a really nice joke, but it just doesn't it's, give, it's doesn't not, bring not the laugh. Not giving you the chortles, yeah. not giving you the chortles. It doesn't bring the laugh. Seasonal joke. Uh, what do you get when you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter? What do you get? My pumpkin pie, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Math joke for a literary Another, person. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I can't do maths. I know. Yeah. Well, no. that is long. It's, that's that's long and yeah. Sorry. We, it, it, basically, once well. once we get to like two paragraphs, it's pushing it, and uh, this well, one that's is like five. Yeah. What happens to a frog's car when it's illegally parked? What? It gets towed away. Oh. <laughs> well. I'm enjoying your reactions more than anything. All right. This is the same one that was above. Unfortunately, Aww. we had the same French cat joke twice. Mm. Parallel lines have so much in common. It's just a shame they'll never meet. <laughs> see? Cuteness, cuteness. Let's see, I don't have a joke because I'm too serious. I told my elementary school teachers I would not be attending recess because I don't play around. Mm. I tried to read that with the same seriousness as the... didn't work. Okay. The past, present, and future walk into a bar. Mm -hmm. It was tense. <laughs> see, literary <laughs> jokes for a literary that's person. Really, that's pretty good. What kind of place should you never take a dog? Uh, I don't know. A flea market. <laughs> I'm enjoying this even more than she is. What do you call a snobby burglar going down a flight of stairs? What do you call a snobby burglar going down a flight of stairs? A condescending, condescending. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> that's so good. 
That might have taken first place based on this reaction. <laughs> Do you need a moment? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get you some water. <laughs> okay. Feeling. <laughs> I'm gonna see that. Feeling lonely and isolated. No one rings, no one calls. Try missing a couple of payments. Mm. I think I was supposed to read that like a, a jingle or a sales pitch, uh, but. No. No, no. no. Okay. No. Knock, knock. Who's that? Madame. Madame who? Madame Foot is stuck in the door. <laughs> 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 it's all about your reaction. I'm trying to hold it in. A woman walks into a library and asks if they have any books about paranoia. Mm -hmm. The librarian whispers, Oof. <laughs> That's not a laugh. <laughs> this really works. If you okay. don't if you don't believe it, try this experiment. Put your dog and your spouse in the trunk of a car for an hour. When you open the trunk, which one is really happy to see you? Which one? Well, I would assume the dog. That's where this joke ends, but Oh! I don't understand. <laughs> I think like it's a... like to see who loves you who more. Who loves you more? Clearly your dog does because you can put them in the trunk of your car for an hour and they'll be really happy to see you when you open the trunk. Well, will it? Yes. Yeah. My spouse would too. But, I don't have a spouse, but... <laughs> but he, but he, <laughs> he or she would be, is that what you're saying? Yeah. A semicolon broke the law. It was given two consecutive sentences. Mm. <laughs> oh, so close and yet so far. I do love semicolons, yeah. <laughs> Semicolons are amazing. There's even a semicolon in the joke. Oh, that's so cute. See? Well done. Yeah. Okay, this that's is... That's a cover joke. What do you get when you cross a tiger and a jaguar? And a jaguar. And a jaguar, yeah. What? I don't know, I'm too afraid to try. No. No, sorry. And then apparently she said that she she fake laughed at it because she didn't get it at first and then ended up laughing a lot later because it finally sunk in. So maybe it'll be funny to you in an Okay, hour. maybe I'll, I'll let you know. We're, we're fair, we're nothing if not fair. We're follow, I'll, I'll we're tell follow, you if I... Follow. Well, but now we have to I'm determine still the winner. every time I think of condescending. <laughs> yeah, that's the winner. That have, that I think, unless you, anything else compete with that. Oh, no, no. It was clear winner. That was that was pretty amazing. So that'd be William won that one. William. Good job, William. So we'll send you we'll send you a copy of the book. I really hope you like it, or maybe you're giving it away as a Christmas present. But whatever. <laughs> See you. I hope whoever ends up with it really enjoys it. <laughs> you should read it first before you give it away. Hopefully, this will be in the mail for you, William, in the next couple of days. Yay! That's the plan. And this has been jokes with Natasha. <laughs> it's a new segment. Yay! <laughs> Anywho, that's that. I'm gonna go to the bike about end of the year party, hang out, have some sushi, a couple of drinks, and then I gotta pack. Or maybe I should pack before I go. I gotta figure this out. So I gotta bounce. But I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for that bounce. I'm gonna see some people that I really do care about tomorrow. Coffee and beer shall be consumed with different people in different parts of the world and uh, just see how this whole thing goes. I will see you tomorrow for that. Hope you have a wonderful day and uh, you know, happy Wednesday. See you tomorrow.